Adobe After Effects is stepping into the world of 3D. They've just unveiled a groundbreaking new feature and dropped an absolutely stunning promo video. Can you believe that all of this is done within After Effects itself? So the big question on everyone's mind is, could After Effects be on its way to dethrone other 3D programs and becoming the ultimate one-stop shop for VFX, motion, and 3D artists? Well, that is exactly what I want to find out in this video. That promo video looks mind-blowing, but a tiny voice in the back of my head is whispering, is this too good to be true? Now to truly gauge the power of their new true 3D workspace, as they call it, I'm going to put it to the test by creating my very own 3D beverage commercial. Now one will be crafted in After Effects beta, while the other one will be brought to life in Blender. And brace yourselves, because the results might leave you shocked. First things first, we need our hero subject, and traditionally there are two main ways of obtaining this. The first option is modeling, which depending on the object's complexity and your skill level is easily done in Blender. However, After Effects doesn't have modeling tools yet. We could model something in Blender and export it, but that defeats the whole purpose of this test. So that leads us to the second method, the marketplace. Online you'll find a ton of both free and paid 3D models, virtually anything you can imagine has already Already been created by someone else. However, when looking for models compatible with After Effects, you're limited to OBG, GLTF, and GLB file formats. Luckily, most models available online come at least in one of these three flavors. So now that we have our models, it's time to import them. A simple drag and drop into the project window does the trick. It's that easy. I've also added a strawberry and a lemon because, you guessed it, we'll be animating those two. Now before I can make any comparisons about the materials, I need the right lighting setup. In the latest beta version, Adobe introduced image-based lighting, which is a quicker and simpler way to create lifelike environments. And this nifty feature allows you to use a 360 high dynamic range image as a light source, resulting in realistic lighting, reflections, and shadows on 3D layers. Blender has had this for years, and finally Adobe is catching up. I'm saying finally, it's still crazy that we can do 3D in After Effects. <laughs> You can create these HDRI images with a 360 camera or find them online, with HDRI heaven being one of my top picks. Now with our HDRI ready, it is time to add it into our scene. Just right click in the comp, create a new light and select environment in the lighting options. Now before adding the 360 image as the source, drag it into the composition and select it as the HDRI image source. And there we go, a proper lighting setup in just a few clicks. Now with the transform settings, you can rotate the image around and as you're doing that, you can see the light shift around the 3D object, which is really cool. Now, before I continue with comparing how the materials look in After Effects and Blender, there is something else that we need. If you think beverage commercials, you think about something refreshing, like water splashes. After Effects sadly doesn't support any type of transparent materials yet, but I have a solution for that. You see, Storyblocks, our sponsor of today's video, has a ton of water assets that we can use to create that refreshing look. Next to this, they have a vast library of high-quality, royalty-free stock assets in HD and 4K resolution, ready to use for any creative project. And what if you are making a hot sauce commercial? This burn transition might be the perfect fit. Or, or maybe this logo animation fits perfect for an energy drink. These are all Premiere or After Effects templates, which you can very easily adjust. You need people quenching their thirst after an intense workout. Well, they got stock footage of that too. And there is still way more. Storyblocks offers an unlimited library and a fixed monthly or annual price with no hidden costs. I've been using Storyblocks for years now and I can't recommend it enough to all the creative minds out there. So take back your creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty-free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash cinecom or simply click the first link in your description down below guys. Definitely check it out. Now, back to the materials. When we compare After Effects and Blender, there's a noticeable difference. They are exactly the same models and materials, but both software interpreted slightly different. The strawberry in Blender has a more vibrant and distinct highlight, while in After Effects the materials appear somewhat matte. Blender gives the can a more metallic look and captures the highlights beautifully. As for the lemons, they are quite similar in both. Although the skin of the lemon in After Effects looks a little too rough, it seems as though that not all settings are translating seamlessly to After Effects, which explains the difference in materials. However, if you look at the lemon with some trial and error, you can achieve nearly identical results. Now let's dive into the animation itself. The process is pretty much the same as what we're accustomed to in After Effects. We can create a keyframe, move and rotate the object around in 3D space, and again, create a keyframe 
keyframe, resulting in a nice smooth animation. I did this for all my objects to create a nice animated composition. Now there is one thing I really dislike. For all of this to work, we need to use the advanced 3D renderer. Unfortunately, since this is still in beta, motion blur and depth of fields don't work yet. Something that you really need to be able to create beautiful, realistic renders. However, that doesn't stop me from creating the best possible outcome. I've added a gorgeous gradient background, slapped in some of my Storyblocks assets, applied some color correction, sprinkled in chromatic aberration, enhanced the lighting, threw in a vignette, faked the depth of field, and applied the CC force motion blur effects. And with all of these enhancements in place, it is time to render it out and see if After Effects can truly outshine Blender. Now I gotta be honest guys, for After Effects to just starting out with these features, this ain't that bad. But let me know in the comments which software you think did better. Now, if you want to use this 3D feature to add objects into the real world, go check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative.